Okay. Now let's talk about the uh, scoliosis because I, you know, scoliosis. Obviously, some of you had questions that also can lead to back pain. We have an image of uh, what exactly scoliosis looks like and some of the treatments that you do to fix this problem. Mm -hmm. So scoliosis is another common cause of back pain. About five percent of the population has a minor degree of scoliosis. As we age, sometimes the scoliosis worsens. With scoliosis, what can happen? Again, we're supposed to be perfectly aligned in the right. front and the side. With scoliosis, the spine bends. That bending leads to a lot of muscle tension on the side of the convexity and a lot of arthritis on the concavity where the bones have to carry extra load. So we're not designed to be off-center. So are there braces that people can wear to kind of like align this? There are. Um, braces what, what is, I'm sorry, and what is the success rate of that? So if you have a child who's growing and they have a type of scoliosis called idiopathic scoliosis where they're, as they grow their spine is bending, that can be treated very well with a brace and with a well-footed brace it can reduce the scoliosis and help them to grow straight and that's actually been shown to sometimes avoid surgery. So I bracing see. is very effective in the younger growing spine. Once you've grown and now you're 40 and you have a spine like this, a brace will only support you while you're in it but you're going to go back to that position. It doesn't change the scoliosis. That's However, you might feel better while you're in the brace. I see. The problem with long-term bracing is that the muscles get weak. If you're wearing a brace all day, eventually your muscles start to get deconditioned. And when you come out of the brace, your body can't support your spine as it should. So it's a mixed bag for the adults. So, so tell us about some of these surgical treatments that you do for scoliosis. And I think you have brought, I don't know if this is the one that you are referring to, but uh, tell our viewers exactly like what kind of surgery you do to, to stabilize this. Yeah, so with scoliosis, if we end up doing surgery, the goal is to realign the spine, get it into a better posture, and then fuse it in that position so it stays there. So this is just showing a mini example of putting screws and rods into the back. What these screws and rods are, you can think of them almost like an internal brace, which is holding the spine in a good position. So if your spine is bent, and we can put a straight rod in and correct it, we can hold it in that position and then we do a bone grafting technique to allow the bones to grow together in that new position. And after about three to six months, the bones are solidly fused together. They stay that way. You don't really need the screws and rods anymore because they've done their job, but we leave them in. We don't take them out. They essentially become part of the spine. Sean, is there uh, any issue uh, with the mobility once you do this, or it's just a short period of recovery, and then they kind of become normal? Right, so mobility issues, are really a function of how many vertebrae are fused and what part of the spine is fused. For example, there's some professional golfers who've had their thoracic spine fused and golf very well because we haven't fused the lumbar. If you have to fuse the lumbar spine, if you have to fuse the entire lumbar spine, there'll be some loss of rotation and side bending. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's, but there's really no limit of how many vertebras you can put together. Correct. And these, this is a long-term, uh, the recovery from this is easy, hard, is there a lot of physical therapy involved with this, or people, patients do well? So for bigger scoliosis surgeries, we usually say there's about a three-month recovery period, but during that time they're walking, they're getting back to work, they're doing physical therapy. It takes three months for the bones to heal together, and then six months to be considered fully rehabilitated in terms of returning to full activity.